Hello, my name is Jennifer and welcome to part 25 of Rags to Riches Vampire Edition and if you are returning, welcome back. And we're pretty much in the riches part of this challenge, but uh, what I'm hoping to do in this part is have that street sale I tried to do last time and I'm really hoping that we have a new Nubu by the end of it. So. I made the mistake of forgetting to uh, end in my gathering before I saved last time, so when I opened up my game save, um, everybody's home. <laughs> Both Megan, Megan's home from work, and Sylvia is home from school. And because she came home from school earlier, earlier, early I should say, her um, responsibility trait fell out of a rate. Well, we're already out of school, Colin. <laughs> he, he, called, he wanted to, I wanted to get this this uh, Lego done so that our little one can go play and she's playful from the from having a silly trait I guess that was the trait I must have given her I don't really remember to be quite honest yes silly silly is what she has and I did have Bryce make one more drink here and he must hit every time I make him get him to make a drink he makes one for himself and he didn't even drink it so we're gonna put that in his inventory and Anishal Sim suggested, which I'll have to remember for the future, to uh, instead of putting it in the fridge, which of course I was a little concerned if someone might drink it. I don't know that, I think they may be like ambrosia. I don't think anyone will eat ambrosia when you put it in the fridge. I'm guessing these vampire cure drinks are the same, that they won't just randomly drink them. Because I have noticed if we open the fridge and take a look, I have in the, in the fridge um, that draft of reconfiguration, which I'm going to try and sell just to see if it sells and how much it sells for and I have a uh, sunlight reversal cocktail in the fridge and I'm pretty sure I made that and stuck that in there and I don't think they autonomously go and drink any of those things why don't we try and sell that too and we have a dim and gusty worth 57 we'll just sell that into our inventory I don't think it's worth our time to try and sell it out on a, a street sale table so we're gonna take Bryce out over here and get him to set up for his street sale and once he's there hopefully he'll actually place that in the world after he gets there and he looks like he was watching little Tabitha Tabitha slept pretty late where is Tabitha going where are you going Tabitha you're supposed to be eating are you gonna go eat on your bed I pulled a chair out here for you to eat there oh well you can eat wherever you want I don't really I'm not really picky about it so let me put that eggs benedict back in the fridge and uh, Sylvia was doing her homework and hopes I'm hoping that that will mean <laughs> her she actually could age up pretty much she's got all her traits in the right right spot um, but you know I guess she can stay a teen for a little bit longer what was I looking for here I was gonna get her to have one of those and then maybe do her extra credit work because that did not do enough to get a responsibility up though I don't find that responsibility that difficult to do normally so let me go check on Bryce he's playing an instrument no we wanna not that it's your fault but we want you to sell these things we want you to sell the draft of reconfiguration we want you to sell the four vampire cures and this sunlight reversal um, cocktail so we're gonna stock the table so that that seems to be lasting a long time it's got three days left even when it's out of the fridge it still does so the cures are quite long too you know what it is is because it's on this table they last longer once you put on the table so I might have been able to have had that sale last time because it's it's like it's um, in a fridge and you have get to work I think this sort of acts the same way so tend the table are you about to start singing practice singing and then we are going to make sure our prices are marked up they are 300 percent and we're going to start a street sale and then we will hopefully make lots and lots and oodles and oodles of money which is what I wanted to have happen so uh, not that we really need it but I just wanted to trade I, I kind of want to see whether we can sell the sunlight reversal cocktail and the um, the draft reconfiguration and what we make for them but I'm um, keep coming and checking in on them over here you know what helps responsibility oh that's not very good brushing teeth out of the toilet 
<laughs> is that working on anything there? I'm going to just pause it. No, I'm just making her probably lose responsibility. And she probably can't play with that yet because it's not fully bu built. But she's playful, which means she should be working on her imagination skill because that's something that is really good to work on when they are playful. So we are going to play with a toy. And I don't know, did I ever get a dollhouse? I did not. And I'm a bit afraid to put a dollhouse out here because I wouldn't want Sylvia going out there and playing with it. Though, you know, I have MCC and it's supposed to, uh, I have the dollhouse autonomous playing with a dollhouse turned off. So it may work okay to have it. Like the little outdoor one out here. Let me go get it. I'll be back once I've got it. So I have put that out there, which we'll go look at it in a minute. But I also have Megan working on the painter extraordinaire aspiration because she kept wanting to paint and she actually autonomously painted on her own. So that's her first one. Now I don't know whether I ever got her and she got lots of oodles of points there. So let's take a look at traits for her. And she does not have marketable. So I'm going to get her marketable and she does not need free services. Uh, entrepreneurial might be useful because she is in a job and frugal will help us with our bills. And shameless, we don't want our mummy to die. Unfortunately, she could from the playful one. Not so likely to be um, angry because she doesn't have any angry traits. So we're going to give her a morning sim and then when we get enough points, we'll get her night owl to go with it. So I'm going to have her do another large classic painting to try and get this first thing teared off. I have her going to rally the troops and let's check in on Tabitha. She's going to go play. They're all busy and you know what? Sylvia, do I have you set up? Have you done your extra credit homework? Do that and then come try and build this. Because I really want to see Tabitha playing with that. So then now we've got them all set up for doing their own thing. Let's go check out whether um, how Bryce is doing over here. Everything's still on the table. The drinks are good for two days, two days. And the draft has no expiration. That one is three days, one day, and two days. Let's get that out of our way so we can see. Can someone come buy our drinks? I'm sure the vampires are like, maybe the vampires might want the, the uh, cure. Maybe they don't want to stay vampires anymore. Of course, we do have a 300% markup. You'd think they'd be burning up if they were actually vampires. You wouldn't think there would be any vampires here. So 54,000, that was a draft to recon, sorry, that was a cure that we sold there. And they're gone. Oh, we could have helped fix the bad relationship. And Megan has reached painting level five. So we have sold one thing for 54,000. <laughs> These are the money makers because they seem to be, I probably should have had her learn the drink and make it before she got the marketable trait because I have to have someone do that somewhere because I'm really curious if the reason they're worth so much is because of the marketable trait because it, it seems like it's worth a lot but I tend to get that trait for my sims all the time. <laughs> so, oh, well, what did we spite? 54,000, another draft of reconfiguration. But that's the same amount exactly as the last one, so it doesn't seem like it did vary the value of it. Hmm, we'll have to see. This is a good way to get Rosebud. <laughs> Very quickly, I have to say. I'm pretty sure he's already uh, done the fortune aspiration. Let's just quickly check in on Yeah, he's finished that. Let's see where they are on the Mansion Baron. They need some more art. They need four pieces of art. Maybe we'll try that. We'll put him on the family aspiration again for now. He needs to have, uh, yeah, we can't do that right now. Not very easily. No, I don't find it very easy to get toddlers to be in that range. Oh, we have someone else here looking. And Megan. Oh, she needs to paint some more. Well, I set her up to paint. And we have four things left here to sell. Can we sell them before the sale ends? I'm not sure because we've only sold two and there's, the time is more than half past. Unless they s come and buy a lot at the end. A cheerful introduction. Oh, 
Another 54,000? <laughs> and they're all gone. So those drafts of reconfiguration seem to be the hits on this table. So no, the vampire cures seem to be a hit on the table. Not so much the, uh, the others. Can we say cheerful introduction over here? Oh no, you, and you need to keep tending your table while you're doing the cheerful introduction. Would you like to... He is an insider, a snob, and outgoing. Would you like to buy anything from us? Share mixology secrets? Gossip? And... Joke about the fashion you're wearing, perhaps? <laughs> they don't really go very well together. Oh, did we, we bought another, we sold another draft of reconfiguration, so we have not, sorry, we sold another vampire cure, and we have not sold the draft of reconfiguration, and we have not sold the sunlight reversal cocktail. So, but maybe that's because these can only be used by the vampires, and we're having our sale in the daytime. So maybe we need to see whether these would be purchased at night, because I don't know whether it makes a difference whether non-vampires would ever buy them. I don't know. It's a good question. So the sale is over. I think because we just haven't sold them, we are going to clear the table. And we're going to, once we've cleared the table, we will put that back into our inventory and into the fridge. Oh, Ra 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 Raquel. We're not going to invite her in because she's a kleptomaniac. We're going to put that in our inventory. And are we friends with everybody here? We are indeed. Okay. Oh, and we're going to, we're not asked, so we have to ask to hang out, so I don't think they would come over to our place. So, let's see. I guess we should come spend some time over with our littlest one. Is she just about to go outside and play on the playhouse? Yeah, we can go play with her over here. Oh, does she have to go to the potty? Oh, you should go to the potty first before you go out there. No, 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 no. I wasn't paying attention to your needs. That's not so good. You go to the potty. You go to the potty. And oh, and we should see um, Megan finished. She can 594 for that painting. Just sticking them all on the window over there. She should be. Oh, look at her. Look at her there. Sell three paintings to collectors or art gallery, which we can do easily, and complete three emotional paintings. That one's maybe not so easy. Okay, so this one is worth two thirty-five for so we'll sell that to collector. And that's two eighty two, we'll sell that to the collector. And then she has one that she had autonomously done on her own. One of these is hers, this uh normal classic painting, which is one forty eight. And we are going to sell that to Collector so that we can finish that. And this particular one is one that was made by Sylvia, so we will keep that in the inventory. I don't know whether there's any point keeping these around or not, because uh, I don't know that they count as some of the paintings we need. Oh, what is her problem? Oh, she's got to go to the bathroom. Well, why don't we try and... What are the rest of your needs like? We, we need to stay awake for a bit. Or maybe what we'll do is you can just look after. We'll have them all look after themselves. Because we I'd really like to have this baby in this part. So, and if I don't have them just sort of look after themselves off camera, then uh, we're not going to have this baby in this part. <laughs> too much time will take. It'll take too much time. So how is she doing? She is still on level two of potty. Yay, yay, yay. And uh, Bryce, why don't you come and play dolls with... Can you? Or can you only click on it once she's playing? Play dolls with... Oh, he has to come home. He can't actually do it from there. See, because I don't actually want her to play dolls. I'll just go play dolls. Play dolls. Because her needs are okay. She can stay up for a little bit. But you know what? She doesn't need to play dolls anymore. Because she isn't... Uh... Why don't you play in the ball pit? Or why don't we... I keep changing my mind. Where is that slide? Here we go. Why don't you help her climb? 
I'll try doing it a few times and see how that works. And then after she's finished, she can go play there. And Sylvia is energized from practicing programming. I want you to finish this. Oh, do you ever... I have seen them finish, but I don't know that I've ever had any of mine finish it. And then if you don't get it done, they definitely clean it up. I don't know if they'll clean it up after they finish, because that would be really annoying. <laughs> if they clean it up when it's done, because then the toddlers can't play with it. It has to be finished for them to be able to play with it. I had the longest time I didn't understand why it was said it was meant for toddlers when the toddlers couldn't ever play with it, but they can if it's built. But I have also seen them autonomously go and clean it up. But I don't know if that's after it's built or not. So we're going to have Sylvia continue to work on this <laughs> Lego table. And uh, Bryce is playing with Tabitha on the slide. You gonna do that again? There, get a little picture. It is cute. And walking around, they go take a little look. Ah, oh, so cute. And she's she's still helping. Does that does she build her skill while he's helping her? Does it help her build it even quicker, or does it just slow it down? That's my big question. So if we give her candy, she'll get energized, but then she'll crash and be angry. So I don't know that it's much benefit. Okay, why don't you come play over here? Play in the ball pit. Oh, you're still helping her slide. Okay. No, you're putting her down. So you let her go play in the ball pit a little bit. You can go help yourself to a... Why don't you make some food so we have some in the house? You can cook a gourmet meal. Make a rack of lamb. There you go. And how are the rest of your needs? They're not actually bad. Mostly you're hungry. So we're just gonna like have him make some food and eat and Megan is sleeping and it looked like um, Sylvia started doing another painting on her own and we have Tabitha playing a little bit over there and then she can come in. Did that not help her attention? Seriously, you'd think that if they're helping them slide that that would boost their attention. So that's, I find a little strange that that didn't help that. I mean, I don't know where the attention level was before but I can't imagine it was that low. And he just helped her on the slide like three times. And you would have thought that her attention would have been filled up with that. But nope. So she can come eat. So we're going to have her go eat. Do the regular bedtime story and all that stuff. So we will probably be back when it's time to go to the hospital. Or when they're at the hospital. Unless something happens between now and then. Well it's go time. And we're at the hospital. We get the walls into cutaway and let's go where is Megan there she is this is my edited version of the hospital I had edited it when I played through the doctor career uh, shortly after get to work came out and I just did this so it added extra beds and just made the for me the walkthrough playthrough of it uh, easier added more patient beds and full bathroom with the shower just so that when you're sitting to go to work they can look after themselves a little bit better i don't remember there being one here but anyways we are here at the hospital and she's having her baby and i waited kind of the last minute to have the baby because i find sometimes when you go to the hospital and you go right away you just hang around and sometimes i've had to go back home and come back again so we will see oh there he is you can come in the room there bryce you don't need to be outside we have another girl. I'm pretty sure I didn't influence it to be a girl. I don't remember trying anything. So we have a Tabitha. Hmm, Antoinette. Hmm. I'll be back once I decide what I'm going to name her. Well, I decided to go with Marie. And I can't remember whether Tabitha is just Callahan or if she's Callahan White or if she's White Callahan. But we're going for Callahan White right now, and we will tell change that later if I have to. And we have another twin. And we have another girl. Oh, so we don't have another twin. We have another baby. We have another girl, is what I mean to say. We'll make sure they're consistent. 
I'm going to take a look at the, the names and come back. I ended up going for the first one, Ashley Callahan White, because I thought Ashley and Marie sounded nice together. And I normally would change it to add a Y at the end, but because Marie ends in E, I decided to keep it that way. <sighs> I can't believe it triplets. I had this happen to me. I have the ley line trait on this hospital, and I usually get twins with the ley line trait. And the first time I actually put the ley line trait on a hospital, I got a single. Now, this is the second time I've gotten triplets at this hospital. Okay, we have another girl. Let's try this again. We have four girls in this family. I'll be back once I pick out her name. And we have a Paisley. <laughs> I didn't think you're going to have more than three in the game, unless you have a mod. Okay, triplets. I think I'm going to have to take this trade off this hospital. <laughs> I thought Leyline was only supposed to give you twins, not more than twins. And I don't normally have more than twins. I normally have twins. <laughs> I wasn't counting on triplets, and now we have all girls. Okay. All right, well, there we go. We had triplets, and we have a very, very playful mom who she's going to have to tone that down a little bit because <laughs> we don't want to lose her just as we had triplets. That would not be good. But, and I never even got any photos. I'm still in shock. <laughs> never got any photos because I'm in shock that we had triplets. And I had triplets again. So let's get a picture of her looking. Oh my goodness, what have I done? I have triplets. <laughs> don't die on me, please. But I think that's it for this part. <laughs> <laughs> we had our baby, three of them, and um, I guess we'll see how it goes in the next part. Thanks very much for watching, and we will see you next time. Bye! This has been Jennifer. If you have any comments or suggestions, please leave them below. I'd love to see them. If you liked the video, please leave a like. And if you'd like to see more videos of challenge, let's plays, tutorials, and occasional speed builds, please subscribe if you haven't already done so. Thanks very much!